OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to split first name and last name. Now I'm going to show you four different methods to achieve this. The first method employs functionality called Flash Fill. So what you'll need to do to use this is click into the column adjacent to your names. And then in that first cell, type the first name. Now I want to stay in the cell when I confirm this name. And if I press Enter, it'll bring me down a cell. So I'm going to use Control Enter instead. That leaves me in the cell. And once I've done that, I can go to the Data tab on the ribbon. And then over in the Data Tools group, there's a button here called Flash Fill. It's got a lightning strike on it. If I click on that, it repeats that pattern down the rest of the column. And the pattern is all the characters up to a space. Now I can do the same for the last name. If I type the last name here, Control Enter to confirm, but this time I'll use a shortcut key for Flash Fill. And that shortcut key is Control E. Okay, let's move on to the next method. Now the next method is called text to columns. And the first step when you're using this method is to select all the names that you want to split. So I'm going to click in the first name and I want to select down to the bottom of the list of names. Now to do that, I can use the shortcut key, Control Shift down arrow key. Then to get back up to the first name, I can use the shortcut key, Control Backspace. You then go to the data tab on your ribbon and you go to this button, text to columns. Now in the first step, you just click next. And in the second step, you need to specify your delimiter. So the delimiter is the character that splits the first name and last name. And for us, that's a space. You need to make sure that this option here is ticked. By default, I think tab is ticked. So you'd untick that and then you tick space. And down here, you can see it's split the first name and last name. So then you need to click next and you need to specify a destination for your split names. Now you can either overwrite the existing names or have the split names in different columns. If you want to overwrite these names, just keep the destination as A2. But what we want to do is have the first name in column B and the second name in column C. So I'm going to change the destination to B2. Then I just click on finish. Now the third method uses the text before and text after functions. And these functions are available in Excel 365. If you don't have these functions, don't worry. In the last example I'm going to give you, I'm going to use left and mid, which will be available in your version of Excel. So text before. This is going to extract the first name from these names here. The text argument asks you to specify the string that you want to extract characters from. So that's A2, comma. And the delimiter is the character that's splitting the first name from the last name. And for us, that's a space. And you need to put that in quotation marks. Close the bracket, press Enter. Then you can just double click here. And that will copy the formula down, extracting the first name in each row. Now text after works in a very similar way. The text I want to extract characters from is in A2. And the delimiter is a space. If I double click on this little green square, I'll copy the formula down. OK, last of all, we're going to use left and mid. And you'd only use this formula if you don't have Excel 365. So left. Now left will extract characters from the left side of a text string. So for example, if my text was A2, and I wanted to extract the first name, I'd need to extract one, two, three, four, five, six characters from the left side of the text string. So I put a six in, press enter, and it extracts that first name. Now obviously there's a different number of characters that I need to extract in each of these names. So what I can do is before I use left, it's use the find function. And the find function is going to find the position of the space. So for example, find text is my first argument. That's going to be a space. That's the character I want to find. And I want to find that within this text. So that tells me that the space is the seventh character. Now I don't want to extract seven characters. I want to extract six characters. So up to the character before the space. 
So I'll put a minus one at the end of this find formula. So I now have the number of characters I want to extract. So I can put this find function within the left function. So the text I want to extract is here, a two, and the number of characters is returned by the find function. So I can double click to copy this down and it extracts the first name in each of these rows. Now to extract the last name, I have to use the mid function. So the text I want to extract is in A2, and I need to specify a start number. So the start number would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in eighth position. And the number of characters I want to extract, well, that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight characters. Now, obviously these numbers are gonna be different for each of the names. So before I use mid, I can use the find function again. So I want to find the position of the space within this text string. So my find text is a space, and I want to find it within the text in A2. So that gives me the position of the space, but I want to extract the character to the right of the space. So I add one to my find calculation. Then I can put this within mid. The text that I want to extract characters from is here, comma. The start position is returned by the find function. And the number of characters is gonna be different in each of these names, but I could put something in like 20, knowing that there'll never be more than 20 characters in a last name. So then I can double click on this little green square and it extracts the last name in each of these rows. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you next video.